Welcome to Randy's office. This is a brief tutorial on how to how to complete a SIM path in SIMNet. Um, if you're using your LMS, if it's connected to SIMNet, you're going to click on the link in your LMS and it's going to take you to the SIM path. I'm already in SIMNet, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this SIM path to take you in. If you go from if you come from your LMS, a link in your LMS, it'll take you to this particular area. A SIM path has three parts, a pretest, a lesson, and a post-test. Now, the settings can be very different depending on how your instructor sets it up. They may, your instructor may or may not let you to skip the pretest or skip the lesson and go right to the post-test and, and the questions that will show up in the lesson and the post-test may be different depending on how your instructor sets it up so uh, so know that there is a lot of variability within a sim path depending on how your instructor sets it up so I'm going to go ahead and click on take pretest to get me into the sim path to the pretest of the sim path and in the sim path pretest it is a simulated environment looks and feels a lot like the desktop application of the application you're using the over at the right hand side up here is going to give you information about the uh, the pretest how much time you have left um, questions here you can move forward and back how many attempts on each question there is a question list here you can change the font size if you want over on the left side is the question itself here. So it's asking you to insert the current date in the selected cell, do not include the current time. And um, so you can, in the simulated environment, you could click around on the different tabs. Uh, you could actually click on drop down lists. You can click, you can open up dialog boxes. It's not until you apply some action that's either correct or incorrect that, um, that you'll be graded on it. So I'm going to do something incorrect here just to show you and it's going to mark that as incorrect and give me this feedback here. Now, again, this feedback may or may not display depending on how your instructor has set up the SIM path. And when I click OK, because I only had one, one attempt on that question, it's going to move me on to the next question. So that is the pretest. You'll go through all of the different questions on there. I'm going to exit out at this point and go back and show you the, uh, the next part, the lesson. So I'm going to end exam. My results are going to display here and your results will display here, but you'll complete the exam and do much better than I did. I'm going to go back to the next part, which is the lesson. And again, your instructor may allow you to skip the lesson, go straight to the post test. I'll go into the lesson just to show you. And what you're going to do here is you have a show me, guide me, let me try for each of the different skills here. The show me is a video that will show you how to do this particular skill, entering simple formulas. Guide me is a click path that shows you exactly what to click and how to do it. And then the let me try tells you what to do. Um, but not specifically how to do it. Most instructors just assign the let me try. So that's what typically you'll do. So you'll click on that and it will come up. It's gonna look and feel much like the pretest where you have information over here, we're on the let me try. This is the instruction here. And I, I see that I have three steps on this particular one. So enter a formula in cell B19 to display the value of cell B15. Um, total expenses for January. So we could do equals and B15 and press enter and it's going to tell me I'm correct. If I'm incorrect, it will do it will tell me also. When I click on next, it's going to take me to the next one here, the next part of that. Again, in the simulated environment, I can click around. It's not until I apply some action that's incorrect will it mark me wrong. So this is the lesson part. You'll go through all the different, all the different let me tries in the lesson. And when you finish that, you can exit out of here. It'll put a check mark as you finish each one of these and you'll move on to the next one. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the lesson and we're going to go on to the post test. And then I could take the post test. So again, the post test, very much like the pretest, 
just know that um, when you're taking a sim path that there is some variability your instructor will give you the information on you know how much time you have allowed if you're able to skip uh, the pretest or the lesson uh, it, what content is going to be in the lesson and the post test uh, all of that information is is up to your instructor so i hope this tutorial helped and have a wonderful day